What's up, guys? I'm good. Yep. My good. Yeah. Fight week. Let's go. We're back again. How uh, how much do you know about your opponent, Austin Lingo? Man, I know he's tough. Man, I've watched his fights. I mean, I studied a little bit. Switch up was two weeks ago, but I mean, I'm preparing for. Uh, this is my 20th pro fight. You know what I mean? 21st pro fight, really. So it's like I've seen I've seen a lot, done a lot. So he's orthodox. He's a banger. I'm a banger. He's tough. I'm tough. We're going to see who's the, who's the real dog. Yeah. At this point in your career, is it like, you know, that's all you need to know? He's an orthodox guy. He's either tough or he's not. I can get in there and fight him and yeah, find Yeah, I mean, out. I've been doing it long enough that uh, you'll figure it all out in the first little sequence, two, two three sequences, first minute or so. Yeah. Obviously, you had that bang with Onima. I think the fans now are expecting bangers from you every time. When you get out there and you hear the crowd, are you just going to start doing the thing where yeah, you stand? Yeah, I know that's, the, that's, the, that's been my whole mindset this camp. I got I to gotta do better. I got to one-up it. I can't be let the last one be the best one. I got to one-up it, baby. Yeah. Is there another world where you get, the, you get the full mount and you just stand back up again? Maybe. My coaches, I don't think my coach is going to take too kind. Of They're like, dude, you got it. God, <laughs> man, come on, man. We didn't coach you that. Yeah. yeah. When you did that, was that just because – I basically was everything in your head just been like, oh, F it, this will be fun, or you just like, oh, I was having too much fun. Man, I just love this, man. It's like uh, I would have liked for another round, man, in that moment, man. It was just like the fan. It was just – you can't recreate that, man. Yeah. But you're going to try on Saturday? I'm going to try to pitch a shutout, man. I'm going to try to go out there and just dominate him, get a finish. I want to finish this guy. I should have finished on now. I just was having too much fun, but <laughs> – I should have got the finish. Yeah. I need to, I need a finish. I need to rack up finishes in the UFC. Yeah. I was just curious, uh, champion of the division, he went up and fought Islam Makachev. Did, did you see that fight, and how did you rate his performance? That was great, man. Was, he's the best right now. So We'll see how the division plays out in the future. I mean, there's a bunch of big fights happening in the top 15. I'm pretty mad. I was supposed to leave Saturday top 15, and uh, that's driving me. I'm going to get this finished, going to carry on, and we're going to make a run. We've had a couple of guys up here today talk about the rankings and how they're kind of like, you know what, if you're ranked 10 in the rankings, you could still get a title shot. The rankings are kind of just there for whatever reason, but actually the UFC does what they want to do. Do you feel the same way? I think it depends on the division. Yeah. I think our, I think featherweight, I think lightweight, it's all pretty packed, so it'll be hard, but uh, – I mean, you do what you do. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody uh, can't fight. I mean, you got to be ready at all times. Nate, you have probably one of the greatest quotes in UFC history, which is, if I don't lose, I'm probably going to win. Um, is, is that the strategy still going Oh, man, it? that's with anything. If I don't lose, I'm definitely winning. That's my whole thing. I just don't feel like anybody can outwant me and anybody can outfight me. They can only match that. I don't feel like there's a man allowed to keep that pace and uh if I don't get finished and if I just I just don't feel like I'm losing the decision yeah and you're obviously turning into a fan favorite both in and out of the cage um but do you have aspirations to be more than that just a guy that like is, is a bonus fighter that can you know win uh you know performance of the night fight of the night like do you want to fight for the belt do you want to get to the top of the division I want everything this life has to offer point blank that's it and uh, you were originally supposed to fight Alex Caceres. Um, now you're fighting Austin Lingo, obviously short notice uh, opponent. Um, do you like the fight better stylistically than, than Caceres? I mean, I like every fight. That other fight was going to be a good fight. This would be a good fight. I mean, uh, he's tough. Lingo's a tough dude. He got good boxing. got a good left hook. He's... We're going to see real quick who's who and what's what real quick. And fighting in, in front of a crowd here in, in San Antonio, uh, does that excite you? You can say that. I, I love the fans, man. The fans love me, and uh, there's going to be some hooting and hollering for sure. It's going to be it's going to be a Nathan Train performance out there. Yeah. And sometime this summer, we're probably expecting the uh, unification bout between Jay Rodriguez and Alexander Volkanovsky. Just curious to see if you have a pick on that one. And yeah, I think Volk's going to keep that. Yeah. Right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Nate, over here. Um, 
I know you got the big fight this weekend, but there's also someone else fighting from Tennessee this weekend. I know Jenny Savage has a fight this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. Curi- just curious if you guys are friends. If you have Oh, friends. yeah, man. She's from Clarksville, man. That's a big support. I hope she gets that world title, man. I feel like she's going to get the job done, Jenny Savage. That's awesome, man. That's yeah, for sure. Question, yeah, man. yeah. You. It's a big, it's a big, uh, it's a big weekend for my team. It's a big weekend for Clarksville. It's a, it's a good, it's a good week for fights. And by the way, I, I know you train out of Miami out in MMA Masters. Great team. Um, UFC has uh, an event in Miami in a few weeks. If you were to fight, get the get the victory and no injuries, um, would you like a quick turnaround and, and fight in Miami? Hell no, I'm not turning around that That's quick, boy. I need at least a month. Thank you. I need to go drink some beer or something like that. <laughs> I need to see my wife. I ain't seen my wife in 10 weeks. <laughs>